back to the Brothers of Eternity Let's Play. We have to do this all over again because last time we died. Because we were so incompetent. Okay, we're gonna stun that one. The dare needs to go knock that one down. I'm sure you should probably use that. And Pelagina, go cue that. You can. You can uh, use. Use Echo, like, Echo on that thing. On her, I guess. Okay, now go lock over there or something. Alright, I'm back. I uh, go just attack that one. Uh, you can just run away. Nice. Alright, this fight went a lot better than the last one. Why are my... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I need to start the timer. There we go. Now we'll be more careful this time around. Maybe. They won't see me coming. Or will they? Right there. Ready. Will do. He doesn't see the trap anywhere. Is it up here? Oh, they're allies for some reason? Alright, we're gonna quick save again. Because I don't want to have to do that fight all over again. I really hate fighting these things. Unless there's only one of them. In which case I can... Okay! He apparently could not see that trap. Yes. Well, luckily it did not hit me. That's all that matters. Okay. They all want to hate us. Giant dank spore. Oh, the horror. Oh, I probably should have stunned that as fast as possible. Nah, we're going to pay the price. Everyone just back up. Are you kidding me? Let me get past him. No, what are you doing? Uh fine. I will 1v1 all of these. Well, 1v multiple. Okay, use that. Oh, crap. Okay. We can't really reach any of them, can we? This is a really bad place to be stuck in. Okay, we're all alive. Go, 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 go. No. For obvious, you need to use purifying winds right now. Something. Oh, that actually makes it so we can't use our special thingy. Oh well, rot skulls. No, don't attack me, you thunderhead. Come on, there you go. I'm alive again. Stun that thing. Okay, um... Pain Link. Nah. Fractured Volition. Could do Echo. Echo. Echo Vampiric Shield. Yeah, let's do that. Oh crap, she's got a crap ton of this stuff. Just spam that spell. And summon your thing. Just a little blood. Wow, there's only one there's only space for her. That's her one of them. Oh, wow, she actually used up all of her stuff. Okay. 
Yes. Come on, get unstuck. Let him come through here. Come this way, so we can kill you. My mind feels sharp as steel. Okay. Kill it. You're not getting through me. There. Okay. Now we can. I have no idea. Well. Ooh, what's that? Ring of Thorns. Oh, dexterity plus three. Mm-mm-mm. I think I don't have anything that really gives me dexterity for that much dexterity. What do I have? 16 dexterity. I think that's my base dexterity. Might. Might. Perception. Intellect. Maybe he's engaged. Well, I do not have anything that gives me dexterity. I could also give it to him in for what it does. Wow. I could also give it to Adair, who doesn't really have all that much dexterity. Or her, who doesn't have that much dexterity. Or her, who also, well, I probably could benefit from, from it the most. You probably could as well. And it's in his, um, well, the written lore of my, uh, the version of, uh, my version of his character. That, uh, he's supposed to be extremely dexterous. Um, and I don't really have any space. This is really nice. And that is also kind of nice. Having just that one extra intellect is always good. Oh, oh, he's also got two rings. Oh. Huh. Ah. Maybe this isn't as amazing as it could be. Swapping one intellect for 19 dexterity. I think that's worth it, honestly. Uh, who could have the intellect ring? He could have it. Or I guess Ravius could also have it. Or a grieving mother could have it. She doesn't have any rings. Yeah, she can have that one. She's... She doesn't really have that many items at all. Well. Okay. I really need another uh, resting thing. Oh crap, right. More spores. Ugh, we're gonna quick save. Again. I really hate fighting these things. I'll quick save every time before I have to fight one. I wonder if that actually leads into here. I would imagine it does. We're gonna get in here and we're gonna fight this. So much for you. So much for you. No, what are you... Stop it. <sighs> I want to use this, but I don't really want to hurt myself. My mind feels Come on, just kill it. Thank you. There. I'm really low. Perhaps I should actually stay in the back of my gun. Slowly now. There's stuff in here. Ah! Yeah, I thought that would have happened. Dang, nabbit. This place, it hates me. It hates me so much. I cannot blame it, I don't like it that much either. <laughs> Need to find the Ezra Dragon so we can enchant our armor to be amazing. I'll take care of Wait. Wait, this is okay, this is before we kill these things. I probably can do better this time. Uh you side wave on him. <laughs> Me. 
still got him. That's amazing. Okay, if they're just gonna do that on the same one over and over again, I'm fine with that. I don't need a dad. Go around! So hard about going that way. Okay, everyone attack this thing. Give it all you got. Now you just attack. You just attack. Nice. That went better than the last time. Of course. Need something? Ravius, go be. Uh, I don't know, we'll use him toward then. Because apparently we cannot detect any traps here. Nice. Whatever that is, it's kind of crap. Okay, whatever. Not a big deal, he doesn't care. Whoa, what is that? Verena's leaves, rapier, one-handed. Accurate one, vicious, superb. <gasps> it's a superb rapier. Times. 1.2 damage against the prone stunned flanked enemies. White leaf. They like rapiers. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone that really uses any. <sighs> well, well, one of these playthroughs of this game that I'll have. Oh, so yeah, I'm guessing this is just get right through to here. Skipping that area, or I don't know. Anyway, into the even lower reaches of this dungeon. Huh. So. Yeah, in one of my uh, in one of my other games, that's just all pre-made characters. I've got a I've got a paladin who uh, he's a complete sir, and he just uses a rapier. Complete gentleman's weapon. I think it's funny. All right, F five. Two quick save. New map discovered. Endless paths of unknown. Level twelve. Okay, this is a big one. I hope the Adder Dragon's in it. Vithrax Sentry. Fat Squirming Larvae Bobbin's Green Liquid. On the hunt. Well, bring them down. Well, did they just get stunned? I guess they did. She also have mind plague. All right. I want to see what disintegrate does. Let's disintegrate this one. Be disintegrated. Wow. Ah. Of course. That uh, actually uh, worked pretty nicely. Okay. Well. Let's see if I'll have to. I'll have to remember using that on the dragon. If it's in this level. As you wish. Well. Could really use another rest. If secrets whisper here, I should uh, click save again. 
I'm really worried about traps because we can't detect them. It'll be fun having to go through the last boss area again. All right, the amplified wave, amplified wave. Your thoughts must. That just instantly gives everyone, doesn't it? Insta gib, insta jib. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to actually pronounce it. Boom! Ah, oh, I didn't kill it immediately. Oh. Okay then. That was easy. Nice spiders! Kill them! Kill them all! Yo. Oh boy, we've got spiders from the east. Or from the north. North. Whatever. Uh, him, Tori, you come deal with the ones up there. Go kill those. You shoot those. These two can handle these. I think. Uh, will you put another amplified wave on them? So much That'll help. For you. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Not that we can't handle them, but... Hey, I wonder. It'd be nice if I had, like, a jump ability. Ugh, you cannot. What is it? What is it? Oh boy. Let's see if you can kill these. Ow. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Not too long. Nice, okay. But I'm slowly dying of poison. Okay. We got them all. Piece of cake. Piece of cake kitty cake. Slowly now. No traps, I hope. I'm gonna quick save. Again. Like, I'm gonna have to do that every after every fight before looking into anything. Trap! Okay, no trap. Another toe pass. Trap! Okay, another toe pass. I'm okay with this. Oh, we can actually run across these. This reminds me of that one spider place in uh, Baldur's Bring Gate 2, down. which we haven't actually visited yet. In my life, that, so. We'll have to get around to that. I haven't actually played Bulb's Gate 2 in a long time. I haven't finished it in a while, so. I really do need to get back to that Let's Play after this. It's a fun game. And after playing this for so long, I'm probably gonna <laughs> crave playing it a little bit more. Oh, hello! To check. You feel a scratching sensation in your head, followed by a sudden high pitched ringing. Scattered images flash within your mind's eye. You see a mass of nests. Set against a cavern wall, stretching up into the darkness, a vast network of webs somewhere far beneath the surface. You see, too, the sentries have recently slain. Or the sentries you have recently slain, their bodies lying crumpled on the cavern floor. When the images fade, you see another of the spider-faced creatures standing before you. It raises its claws, its clawed hand, hands. You feel another twinge inside your skull, and then words emerge within your mind in a voice wholly alien to your thoughts. The creature pauses its fangs, twitching. The creature makes a strange chittering noise in, in your head, and you hear. Many turns of 
wheel is since last given thought animal tra is trespassing nests are here risk much defending protectors are dead animal is sated animal listens now the creature makes a clacking sound not fighting those guards attack me first guards have not survived the attempt yeah I'll listen I guess there's no need for fighting even though I really don't like these things Yes, Emil is not needed for, to fight. Not needing to fight. The creature spreads its arms. Bethrack creature, welcome to nest. Animal is keeping peace. Do you know anything about the master of this place? I guess. The Bethrack runs a talon along one of his fangs, thinking, Erd Nargadnua. Name bleeds through walls, but Bethrack do not know face. Vo voice. Bethrack, see great works. See statue. Yes. Master of many things, master of Adra, of many voices trapped in stone. The Vithrak points back towards the rest of the caverns of things below. Hmm, interesting. Might be a bit of background noise. Uh, no. Much to admire. What are you doing here? Vithrak searching, seeking knowledge for home, for colony, for not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that. Far away, a long time we have searched. We grew sick with memory of home, made nests, made new home, and found what we seek. Master of this place, the Vithrak gestures at the walls around you, grew Adra, not cutting, breaking, growing, shaping. The Vithrak could find secret, making great works, statue, machines. Vithrak could weave silk and Adra both. Our nests become stronger. The colony becomes stronger, all of us weaving great works. You feel a sudden melancholy from the Vithrak. We are close, finding machines, crystals, but finding Adra men too, and place below. Have lost many, too many. It regards you with sudden interest. Godlike animal is strong, defeated other animals, killed guards, could help with Rack. Exactly, are you looking for? Things for study, things of Adra. All in the ruins below. Let's see how Adnua makes Adra men. Adra shells, yes. Animal does not need to kill Adra men, just needs shells. Also needing part from machine, part like a heart of the machine. Adra and shining metal. The Rathak thinks for a moment. Last piece is Adra. Not the Adra from walls, is different, pure, hard to find. Cherik is hoping there is some below. If godlike animal brings these things, Vithrak, oh animal, great depth, will help colony, help us, can go home after lo so long waiting for great for this great thing to chark would reward animal. Okay. Alright. I'll go see what I can find. Vithrak makes a peculiar clacking sound, and in your mind you feel a hazy gratitude. The Cherik was grateful. Way to ruins lies east. Scouts have carved through stone, found stairs, found more than stairs. They guard us now from what is beneath. Animal must explain task, and Kastoric lets pass in peace. Kastoric is not kind. Animal is taking care. Okay, then. Fascinating. Quick save again. So these things have some amount of intelligence that they are willing to be peaceful. Including the spiders. That's impressive. What's in here? Ooh, fine spear. More diamonds. I like that. I guess they don't mind me uh, say, thinking I need this. Eh, I don't care about that. Crivy. I'd be stealing. Ad coats these cavern walls like moss. It's strangely, strangely warm to the touch. Hello. The Vithrak studies you alertly as you approach. Its dark eyes gleaming. Its voice in your mind is pleasantly melodic. I dare to tongue is welcome. Crivy happy to see many new things here. He points to a claw to, towards the cavern wall. Many crystals, it adds excitingly. What are you doing? The Vithak raises a clawed finger to scratch lightly at one of the Adra formations growing along the wall. Is studying Escaravar Adra. How growing, shaping, using. And not gonna bother to pronounce that. Adra not growing. Crivy will learn secret. Trivi also hunting supplies. Isid is helping and is searching caves in south. It's taking her time, it adds with a hint of approach. Is going alone too. Where? South. Trivi works a little bit, cannot stop the search. It's helping colony. Okay. Farewell. There? There. Fair. Yes. Well, yes. Farewell. End of your time. Okay. Interesting. Fascinating. Of course, right after we come out, we have to fight more of these stupid spiders. 
thought the way is east, so I guess we have to go down this way. Yeah, this is a bit of a bigger place. I wonder if there's anything up there. Probably just more things to fight. I'm not even going to bother. Alright, um, let's stun that one. You go fight that, you go fight that, you go fight that. You shoot that. You can use this on him. I'll use it myself. Yeah. Tell me. Did he just? Oh wow. Even with low intellect, he's hitting the that spider over there with that carnage, which is nice. Of course. Same to but no. Well, doing pretty decent so far for us, which is making me happy. Enough. South, he said. Uh, yeah, do that. Uh oh. Much for you. Okay, that did nothing. Good. Oh, wrong button. Oh, it did do something. It stunned us. Well. That's the only one who's able to get past there. Oh, there, never mind. There we go. Uh, come on. Attack that. Well. Boom. Mad with threat. Your thoughts must flow deep. That does so much damage. The remains are old and brittle. Scattered fragments along the cavern forces as they were dragged here. Interesting. What is it? Kill them all. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Polished pommel stone. This pommel gem is a perfectly smooth, gleaming sphere of dark gold flecked stone. Reflections dance strangely on the dark surface, and in certain lights, the gem gleams deep red. That's part of the Blade of Vandal's Paths, I guess. Inventory, you search that corpse in case it's trapped. Okay, it's not trapped. So much gold, or coin, cup of hands, whatever. Yes. So, nothing interesting that way. Trap. Trap. No trap. Quick save. That's the stairs. Uh, that'll be the end of this episode, actually. Um, it's already been 26 minutes, so I hope you enjoyed watching this. We'll see you in the next one.